Hey guys, so today we're going to be taking a look at I Am Bread. Now this game has been released on PS4 for a few weeks now, and I did do a little gameplay video of it earlier this month. Um, basically, it's a game where you play as bread, and it's been out on PC for a while. It's actually quite well known for PC players, um, but I hadn't actually heard of it up until now. And uh, this game's actually pretty fun. The loading screens, as you can see right now on screen, are pretty long, but bar that, the game is pretty fun. It offers a sort of mobile-like experience in where you run through levels, um, but it, everything is physics-based, so controlling your bread has to be done with a few buttons, and it plays very much like Octodad. Now, Iron Bread does have a few cool features. Obviously, you've got the standard story mode, which you'll see in a moment, and you've also got a few other modes as well, from bagel racing to zero-g gravity, and these are all really fun to do. Once you've done this, you'll be popped up onto the leaderboard, as you can see on the screen right now, and I think that's pretty much the main aim of the game, really, is to get the highest score on the leaderboard. It's actually really fun to play, though, and the graphics aren't too bad for an indie-style game. Now, everything is controlled with a few buttons, depending on which mode you play, and it can be quite difficult to get these button thing, uh, sort of mashes or presses right, so you end up with what really is quite a funny game to play, especially when you've got friends and family around. Sadly, there is no online, though, so you can't play this with friends uh, beyond the leaderboard, but it's still a really good, solid, fun game to play. The story is actually pretty interesting. You are playing as uh, bread because an old man has somewhat gone insane and uh, you get to see his sort of psychiatric records uh, throughout the story which will provide an interesting backstory as to why you're even playing as a loaf or even a slice of bread. So visually, like I said, it isn't fantastic, it's pretty decent though, and everything does look pretty sharp, um, but everything also kind of looks dull too, so it is kind of a bit of a mix and mash, you'll either love it or you'll hate it. I personally love the art style and the direction they went with this game, uh, I think they pulled it off really well, and it's definitely a fun and addictive game to play. So this game gets a 7 out of 10, it is a decent game, and by all means, go and pick it up right now, for all things Iron Bread, keep it with Merchant Gaming. Cheers.